one, it's Reclaimer with 2XP Gaming. Uh, this is the very first ever day in the life video that we've done on this channel. And if you haven't seen our iPhone 10 unboxing, this is a, a series that we will do from time to time with bigger technology, things that people want to know about. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is basically posting a video once a day for a week about how things are going with the iPhone 10 and show you some shots of me using it. And at the end of this series, I'm going to give you my week long impression of the iPhone 10 and let you know if I think it's worth getting or not. So um, we'll go ahead and get the video started. I'm just going to put in some clips of me using the phone throughout the day, whether I'm taking video or pictures on the phone itself, or I'm using my GoPro or something. And we'll just kind of give you an idea of, of what we think. So this is day one of seven. See you soon. Hello there, uh, just doing a daytime uh, video out here outside in the sun. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, so uh, this is the front facing camera in uh, direct daylight. Not too bad. These are the sunglasses that I use by the way. So um, when I say face ID tends to work with them, uh, that is why. Uh, let's go ahead and get you some video on the rear facing camera. Take a look at that. All right, so rear facing camera, we're shooting at 1080p 60. Um, I really don't have a need for 4K, only because we don't really upload video with 4K. So, yeah. This is with the optical Im image stabilization. So far, doing pretty good. There's my dog. That's Nala. He's not paying attention. And we'll uh, zoom in here uh, with the second lens and uh, see how it looks like when I move things around. So far the image stabilization is doing really good. I'm surprised. So yeah. All right, so now I'm using the front facing camera indoors on day one. Um, still looking pretty good. While I'm using this front facing camera, um, for day one, I want to let you know how Face ID has been working so far because I know there's a lot of questions about how it works. Um, so far in daytime hours, everything has been working good. Um, when I'm outside and I'm wearing my sunglasses in direct sunlight, it failed like one out of three times. So I, I didn't continuously try it, but um, you know, I do have polarized sunglasses, so I figured there might be a bit of an issue there but it does unlock with my polarized sunglasses. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna try it at night in a dark room and see how that works. I'll give you an update then too. But this is the front facing camera, um, how it's been working on day one. One thing I'm really missing with iOS 11 and the iPhone 10, iOS 11, iPhone 10, nice. One thing I'm really missing is the battery percentage indicator. I'm not sure if anybody else out there has talked about that, but there's no battery percentage indicator anymore. The battery's up in the notch, but you have no percentage indicator. Kind of stinks. Um, I guess it's not a huge deal, but I'd love to know if my phone is at like 30% versus 45%. It might, might be helpful. Uh, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon here on the East Coast, so we've got a little change in sun. Just kind of showing you the, the front camera here. Front camera is really looking good, really liking it. Um, so far, the last couple hours have basically been restoring this phone. So the battery came partially charged about, it looks like it was about three quarter of the way. I'm not 100%. And now it looks like it's getting closer and closer to hitting that dreaded low power mode 20%. So what I'm going to do is I'll start tomorrow with a full battery, obviously. And then tomorrow we'll let you know how the battery lasted with a full day of use. So more to follow. All right, so this is the front-facing camera. Uh, we're still in day one here. Um, it's getting pretty dark out. It's kind of dusky if you see the sun setting behind me. Can't really see my face too good. Um, this is pretty typical, though, low-light performance, at least out of the front camera of the uh, device. Uh, we'll use the rear-facing camera and see what we pick up. Much better on the rear-facing camera. Um, I know that Apple and others have said that this camera sensor is definitely improved with low lighting conditions, and I would agree. Um, now, it's not pitch black out when we're driving in a car, but I can tell you if this were my old iPhone, we would not be seeing some of what we're actually seeing right now. So, pretty cool. Not too bad. So far, I think one of the biggest advantages is, of course, the camera. 
uh, but that's been pretty much the same the last couple iPhone iterations as the camera's definitely been one of its strong points. We're outside, it's nighttime, Face ID just unlocked. Just kind of chilling out in the semi cold weather. Christmas lights, they light up a lot of my house, but you can't see it here. So, yeah, just kind of taking a look at what I've done so far. Got a bunch of apps installed. Took some pictures, downloaded some games. I'll show you some of the game stuff later, but just kind of wanted to show you the screen at night. Pretty bright. Uh, the True Tone display is it's nice. It makes things a little dim, but I guess all in all, not too bad. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy is the full screen of the apps. I mean, it just like apps like Twitter look freaking awesome. That's so freaking awesome. I love it. All right, it's cold out here. I'm gonna go inside. All right, winding down. There was my my wonderful little pup. Winding down from uh, day one here. Um, it's about 7:30 at night. So now I got this phone at like 12, um, and it had a partial charge. I did a lot of stuff getting this set up, and then I did some general browsing and stuff. And my battery is at around 30%. Now, how do I know that? Because I said before, there's no way to tell where your battery's at. Well, I was wrong about that. So let's go ahead and take a look because I'm going to find this very nifty and I'm sure a lot of you will too. Check this out. <laughs> it's like she knows. All right, so I'm going to raise to wake. Now notice that I'm not looking at my iPhone. I'm not looking at it at all. Now I'm looking at it and it unlocks. Sweet. So let's swipe up. All right, so if I swipe over to the these widgets here, take a look. My iPhone, 30%. So that's where you can find your percentage for your battery, which is nice. So just FYI. Um, let's uh, take a look at uh, some of the stuff here. Let's just look at some general, general browsing. And we'll go to CNN. Apparently, they're having some issues with their website. Don't mind the dog playing with that ball over there. That's all right. But one of the things that I really am finding that I'm enjoying about this is just how the text flows on the screen. Looks really, really awesome. Uh, let's go to Mac Rumors. Why don't we do that? Again, the text flowing on the full screen is really, really nice. So that's really um, where I'm at for now, and I think maybe what I'll do just before bed, I'm going to, you know, I'll be in a dark room. We're going to see how Face ID does with that. I will tell you that throughout the day so far, Face ID has unlocked it um, every single time that I've requested to unlock with the exception of two times. The first time was when I was outside in direct sunlight with my polarized sunglasses on, and it didn't capture my, my face that one time. The second time was when I was at physical therapy tonight, and I was kind of laying down on, on the bed, uh, the physical therapy bed, and I kind of had like my face at like an angle like this. And it didn't recognize it then. I don't know if my fat face was like scrunched up too much and it didn't notice it. But um, so far, so good with Face ID. So we'll check back in uh, before it's time to go to bed and uh, give you an idea of how Face ID operates uh, at night. So, yeah, we'll check in later. Okay, so I said I was going to test Touch ID. Or touch ID. Jeez, that's how ingrained I am in it. Face ID uh, in a dark room, like when I'm going to bed. I didn't do that, so... I'm just going to go into a room where I can shut the lights off and test Face ID. So we'll just double check. It unlocked, so I'm going to lock it again. I'll turn the light off. Can't see anything. Ooh. And it unlocked. Let's see if we can do that again. Lock. Unlocked. Yay! All right, so that's about it for the day one experience. So far, so good. Been liking how it's been working so far. Um, come back tomorrow, and we'll have the day two video up and see how it goes that day. This is Reclaimer from 2XP Gaming. We'll talk soon.